the Nintendo DSi XL, the last iteration in Nintendo's DS family. And today, we will be modding it. Let's get into it. Alright, let's get started. In order to mod your Nintendo DS, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a computer, an SD card reader for your computer, and an SD card formatted in FAT32. I can show you how to check if your SD card is formatted in FAT32. You click on your SD card right down here and you click on Properties, and it should say right here, FAT32, as you can see. Next up, you're going to want to insert your SD card into your Nintendo DSi, then open up your camera app. If it's your first time opening it, it will make you go through a little tutorial. It's not super long, just meet me back here when you're done with it. Anyways, you want to click on your SD card up here once you're on your camera app. It will create, if you haven't already done this, it will create some files that you will need for the mod. And then you want to click on your album. You want to take note of something here. If, you're, if your camera app has the Facebook icon, take note of that. If it does not have the Facebook icon, take note of that as well. Both can mod their consoles, but you need to know if yours is updated with the Facebook or without the Facebook. Now back on your computer, you want to insert your SD card and make sure you have this private folder. If you took a picture, you might also have a DCIM folder, but I didn't take any pictures, so I don't have one. Now you also want, now you want to go to this website linked in the description. This is the DSI modding guy. This is a very useful tool. And if you want to read through this, if you have, if you have any questions or anything, you can read through here. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to scroll down here and you want to download Twilight Menu++ from this little link. And the dump tool right here from this link as well. Wait for those to be done, and when they're done, we'll be back. Alright, now back on your SD card, you want to go into your downloads folder with these two new downloaded files. And you want to go into your Twilight menu file. And you want to take these two files from it. You want to take your NDS file and drag it to the root of your SD card. Make sure there's it doesn't go into any other folders, just the root of your SD card. Now you want to drag this boot.nds to the root of your SD card as well. That should not take as long as the as the NDS folder. Next, I did not mean to open that. Next, you want to drag this to the boot root of your SD card as well. Next, you want to scroll down past Pepper to selecting an exploit. We are using Unlaunch, so you want to click Launching the Exploit. Now, if you had a Facebook icon or if you did not, will come in handy. You want to click, if you had a Facebook icon, click this top one like it says. If you did not, click this bottom one. I had a Facebook icon, so I'm going to click this top one right here. All right, now that it is done, you want to go back to your downloads. And you want to go into your private folder, into your DS folder, into your app folder, into this folder, and you want to take this pit.bin file, and you want to rename that tip.bin, just like that. Now you want to go to your downloads folder. I don't know what's going on, but I want to go to my downloads folder. And you want to take this new pit.bin and just drag it right into there. Now once you're done, you can eject your SD card and move on. Now back on your Nintendo DSi, you want to go back to your camera app. Wait for this to load up. It's gonna check your SD card. Most of the time it does this when you launch it. And you wanna click on your SD card. If you're already on your SD card, it will just look like this. But if you're on system and you wanna go into your SD card. Next, you wanna click the album. And it should flash like this. And this will load you into the exploit. This will load you actually into Twilight Menu. It will let you choose your language by just scrolling. But mine is English. And then it will let you choose your region. My region is USA. Now this will just load you right into Twilight Menu. And now we are going to back up our NAND. Once it is loaded up on this menu, you want to scroll over until you see this, and you want to launch it. When it is, once it is launched, you will see this, and you want to press A to begin NAND dump. This will dump your NAND. You will need about 250 megabytes on your SD card extra to dump your NAND, but that shouldn't be too bad. And this will take about 10, 10-ish minutes. So let's start. See 240 megabytes in my case. Yours might be bigger, yours might be smaller, but it's around that range. When the process is done, press the start button and power down your system once it reaches the Twilight menu. Then remove the SD card and insert it back into your computer. While this is your NAND, you want to keep this in a special place and you don't want to lose this because if your mod process goes wrong at any point down the line, you'll need this to back up your console and restore it. So you want to put that somewhere on your somewhere on your computer I'm just putting that on my desktop and now you want to you can delete this from your thing you can, it takes up about 250 megabytes so you know I recommend deleting it now you just want to go like this make a new folder and call it ROMs now you want to go into your new folder you want to go new make another folder and just name this DSI 
Now this is where you're going to be putting your DSi games or your DSi ROM backups, whatever you want to call them. Now on your SD card, you want to go into your ROMs folder, have that DSi folder, and you want to take your NDS games and just move them right into this folder. Now you can launch. Now you can move, remove your SD card and put it back into your DSi. All right, with your SD card in your Nintendo DS, turn it back on. Click back on your camera. Make sure it is on your SD card. Just like so, and click your album. Now, at towards the end of the video, I will be showing you how to just boot directly into Twilight Menu. But for right now, we're just I'm just showing you where to locate, like where to find your ROMs at, and how to play them. But at the towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to install Unlaunch, which will launch it directly into this. Back on the menu, you want to scroll over until you find your ROMs folder, just like so. You want to click on it. You want to scroll over. You want to click on your DSi folder. And all your games should be here. Back on this page, you want to scroll down. Go past the dumping NAND, since I already showed you how to do that. And click on Installing Unlaunch. Scroll down and click on Install or Download the latest version of Unlaunch. That will download right up in the corner there. Next, you want to turn off your Nintendo DSi and eject your SD card and put it back in your computer. Once you're on the root of your SD card and you, this is and your Unlaunch is uninstalled and unzipped, you want to take this and just drag it anywhere to on the root of your SD card, just like that. And now you can take your SD card out, just like this, and insert it right back into your Nintendo DSi. All right, for this next step, you want to make sure your DSi is plugged in and you want to just go back to your Twilight menu, just as usual. Load in. And now we're going to be setting up Unlaunch, which will boot you right into the Twilight menu. Now, this, this is optional. You do not have to do this. But if you want to do this, you can, you can. You want to go back to the root of your SD card on Twilight Menu and you want to find Unlaunch and you want to click it. And on the top screen here, you want to scroll down to Install Now. You want to click A and you want to wait for that to install. Then you want to click A again. Now what you want to do is you want to restart your Nintendo DSi. Once your console is back on, you want to look up at the top screen here and you want to scroll down three times till, or t till Options. You want to click A on on the first option there, and you want to scroll down to Twilight Menu Plus Plus. Click the A button. Scroll down to Save and Exit. Once you click Save and Exit, you can go ahead and turn off your DSi like I did, and turn it back on, and it should boot directly into Twilight Menu. If so, you have successfully modded your Nintendo DSi. If you did enjoy this video, or if this video helped you in any way, please consider subscribing. I have a lot more content on the way mainly based on DS's for now, but hopefully in the future, I'm going to expand to a lot of other consoles. Anyways, consider subscribing, hitting the like button. Thanks for watching.